Hello there, Leo. Welcome. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. I'm going to do your general love reading for the month of August 2024. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. This again is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Happy birthday to you, Aries. Let's see what's in your overall energy and see what's going on for you in love and relationships. You've got serendipity. Bright new prospects are on the horizon. It's about being in the right place at the right time and meeting the right person. Things are looking up. You've got new opportunities for love. It's, it's faded, destined. Just to take a peek at the bottom, you've got the gate. A barrier keeps you from your goal. So there's some sort of temporary obstacle in your path. Okay, what else is going on for Leo at this time? Don't forget, I am available for private readings. You've got the Knight of Cups. The Two of Swords. The Six of Swords. The Ace of Pentacles. On the bottom, you have Temperance. Okay. All right. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or somebody with some strong Sagittarius placements in their natal chart. I feel like there could be somebody coming back here. This is somebody that they were not ready to commit before. And I feel like you, you've been more than patient with this person and the situation. And I feel like you haven't talked to this person in a while. They may have ghosted you or uh, blocked you or something. And it seems like they're coming back. Um after taking a time out and thinking about what they really want. But I feel like for you, Leo, it might be too little too late. I feel like you're, you've already started moving on. You've moved on from this person. Um, you know, they were not giving you the time of day. They, you know, I don't know what they were coming in their cup here, but they might show up at in the middle of the night here and you're not going to see them coming. Um, I don't see anything in that cup. Um, you know, is it a cup of bullshit? What is it, you know? Um, and I feel like you, you've kind of moved on. Um, uh, but I feel like somebody's bringing in some baggage. They're, they're holding on to some baggage here because they've got all of those swords in the boat. Those swords were supposed to be left back on the shore. Okay. So I feel like somebody, you know, kind of moved on, you know, without having a real answer as to why this person ghosted. And um, I feel like there's going to be some sort of real offer or real opportunity coming in. You might, have, might not have seen this person or heard from them in about a year, possibly longer. They might be coming back to tell you, you know, they might be coming again. We don't know what's in their cup, and they're showing up in, at your door in the middle of the night here um, with some sort of an offer, and um, it might take you by surprise. Um, I feel like they want to come in and try to heal the situation and bring balance to this connection and maybe make you a real offer, but... You might be feeling like, you know what, this ship has sailed. I'm I'm gonna go find find me somebody else who knows what they want, is ready to commit, is ready to offer me what I I know I deserve. I am sick of waiting for people. Um, I don't wait around for people. You know, life is too short. 
you know, especially, you know, you could be dealing with someone who's a little bit younger than you. They might not be as emotionally mature as you are, and they might be very idealistic when it comes to love and relationships. And, you know, like I said, you, you don't have time. It's like you've been more than patient, and you're, you're tired of, you know, people showing up too little too late, and uh, they got nothing. And they come in with all of this baggage. Nope, nope, nope. Tell me about serendipity for Leo. It's like this person, this person's a train wreck and they're, they're you know, bringing their luggage with them. They're coming off the train wreck. <laughs> All right, uh, you've got the Knight of Swords. So again, sudden, all of a sudden, there's going to be some sort of change of luck here or some something better is all of a sudden going to appear. Um, this person may have initially rushed in and didn't really think about the consequences of their behaviors or actions. Um, they, they just came in impulsively and, you know, I feel like they were kind of toying with you, flirting with you, and they're in and out and kind of left you like, what the hell just happened here? Why is temperance here? Queen of Wands, again, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Uh, Queen of Wands typically is Leo energy, could also be Aries. But this is someone who is beautiful, you know, and she can be a bit impatient because she knows her worth and value. She's very sexy, very attractive. I feel like you've been really, like, uh... You've got a lot of passion. You're very sexy and attractive, but sometimes that, that can be um, your downfall because you tend to attract a lot of people who um, just want to get in your pants. They want a bite of that cookie, and you're not having it. And, you know, if, if they don't see your worth, you'll find somebody else who does. And it's like you've been more than patient. Um, you're a take-charge kind of person, Leo. You're a natural-born leader. And uh, you're very dynamic, charismatic, charming, but you also don't have a lot of patience for other people's baloney. You don't stick around for, for baloney. You just don't. It's like you, you don't eat baloney sandwiches. <laughs> you eat lobster and prime rib, girl, or boy, whatever. You know, you're going to find somebody else who sees your worth and value and, you know, screw this person. They can go, they can go kick rocks. <laughs> On the bottom, you've got death. You could be dealing with a Scorpio here, but there's some major, major changes coming in. Um, this person may be going through, like, some sort of spiritual awakening, dark night of the soul, major changes that they're dealing with, which is why they're kind of ghosting. But again, it's like, you know, if they don't know how to communicate and they don't know how to put on their, their big their big kid pants and deal with stuff in a healthy way uh, and stop stringing people along, um, you're, not, you're not here for that. You could be dealing with someone who's a Scorpio on the cusp of Sagittarius as well. So uh, there's also going to be some major changes coming in your love life later this year. Um, I'm going to say between October and December. Why is death here? Queen of Pentacles. She is the wife. She knows her worth and value. She is emotionally stable and grounded. She's very loving and nurturing, but very practical. She's got one last stuff to give, and she is not going to give it to anybody. 
Queen of Pentacles has changed her mind here. And she is not going to be giving anything, um, any of her time, energy, and effort or resources to uh, someone unless things change or unless they come back a changed person. Maybe somebody changed their mind about maybe before they weren't really eager to commit, but they're afraid of losing you. And now all of a sudden here they come back emotionally stable and now they're secure and now they want another chance with you. And it's going to be up to you. Are they, are they coming in off their train wreck with all of their baggage or are they going to leave that baggage behind with the train wreck and start over in a healthy way? But somebody's somebody's coming back or coming somebody new is coming in. It could go either way here. All right, let's get some advice from Spirit and then I'll grab you some love messages. This is interesting, Leo. I feel like you've gone through a lot of change too over the last year. And uh, I feel like things just it's like an overnight change for you. But this is what you manifested. And unfortunately, not everybody could come along for the ride. Because you're not going to allow anybody to ride your coattails of success. Jealousy. Envy, punishment, changing course. So this person may have ghosted because they saw, you know, how you pulled yourself up by your bootstraps and, you know, you, you just seem to be very lucky and they could be jealous and that's why they're not talking to you. But I think they're going to have a change of heart because they miss you. And there's, she's got a pile of skulls there. Again, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. It's the death card. So you could be dealing with a jealous Scorpio or a Sagittarius. Let's get some love messages on this. Love messages for Leo. first message is tease yeah maybe they came in you know being all flirty and you know teasing or you know they're attracted to you you're this sexy queen of wands leo and uh, they can't resist your charms but you know you're looking for you want to be the wife or the husband here you want to be a partner you want a long-term committed relationship okay and it's like your milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> Show a little leg. She's got her showing off some leg too. All right, hesitation. So I feel like maybe this person freaked out. They didn't think you were serious. And they ghosted. Or they ghosted because they were afraid of you. You hesitated. You're like, no, I don't know. I don't, uh, I'm not here to be toyed with. And now they might come back begging to take you, to have you back. And you're going to be like, I don't know. Apology. Yep. They're, they better be Bring in a whole truckload of chapstick because they're going to have a lot of ass kissing to do here, Leo. <laughs> they are going to have to beg for your forgiveness for whatever they did. They ghosted you, blocked you, toyed with you, toyed with your feelings. They were teasing you. They weren't serious. Hmm. And then spiritual. Yeah, it's like you're looking for a higher love. There's a spiritual connection here. Maybe this person um, is spiritually immature. OK, 
Okay, but there's a spiritual reason for meeting this person or this is the type of, you know, you're seeking something more than, you want more than money, you want real love, you want emotion, you want passion, you want stability, you want it all, you deserve it all. I'm looking for that soulmate love. Beautiful reading. All right. Well, you're you you're gonna have some decisions to make, and you know you're gonna have a change of luck here when it comes to love, Leo. All right. Well, happy birthday to you again. Thank you for your continued love and support of my work in this channel. Until I see you again, Leo. Be the love. Be the light. Take care. Bye bye.